everyone, welcome to Melissa's Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to cook a typical Malaysian cuisine. It's called nasi lemak, which is for uh, coconut rice with beef rendang. It's beef rendang is a beef casserole, a very rich um, dry curry that can either go with nasi lemak or with just a plain rice. So uh, we have here in front of us, I'll just show you the rice. I have already washed the rice. We're going to use a rice cooker today, three cups of rice. One can of the coconut milk, a teaspoon of salt, and we have here two bunch of leaves that is called pandan leaves. You can get them in the Asian supermarket. They are frozen in the freezer, and yeah, just tie, wash it and tie knot. And uh, three of the uh, lemon grass. We're gonna use that. Two can of the coconut milk. Lemon grass is to go for the curry. So we have the two can of coconut milk, lemon grass. This is minced shallot, about four quite big size shallot and uh, one kilo of uh, beef, any type of beef that you can use for casserole like chopped beef or gravy beef or top side. So I have one kilo of that cut into about four centimeter size. All ready for that. And then we have the coffee lime leaves. I can't find any fresh ones so this is actually in a jar. So we're going to use that for the curry. And of course six tablespoons of the uh, curry powder. Um, I use the baba brand curry powder and then we have about one cup of desiccated coconut I have toasted that already you can just toast it on a frying pan quite easily and we have a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of sugar and then I'm going to meet um, a chili sambal balachan chili to go on the side as a condiment for the nasi lemak so we have here um, two packets of the fresh chili which I have ready take out the seeds and wash them a lime we're going to juice it and this is the shrimp paste that is dry it's called balachan dry shrimp paste and I have taken out like a tablespoon of that and just lightly toasted so we're going to blend all that together in my mini food processor here and a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt and then for another condiment we have here the anchovies they have been washed you need to wash them because it, the packet can be a bit powdery so there's 100 gram of the anchovies I washed about three times and dry with paper towel and about 150 gram of the peanuts we're gonna fry that and in here in the sauce here we have uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar one teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of water a teaspoon of sesame oil so we're going to do all that and then um, to garnish with uh, we have cut up the cucumber and the eggs so firstly we're going to cook the rice so I have had three cups of rice already washed so I'm going to put in the coconut milk and then I'm going to top up the rest of it three cups of rice so just use the measurement on your rice cooker I'm just going to put in some water we have here some distilled we have a distilled machine so just some water so I'm just going to stir in make sure that it just go to the line three cups just over four just over four and a quarter cup of water line with the coconut milk yeah and then I'm going to add in the uh, salt I'm mix it in. Mix in the salt. So we have here about four and a quarter cup of water level on the rice cooker. If you of course don't have the rice cooker, you have to use the pot um, to cook your rice. Then we're going to put in the two pandan leaves and so this is going to go into the rice cooker and cook. So now we're going to cook the beef rendang which is the um, Malaysian dry beef curry. So heat up the pot and we're going to put in the vegetable oil. I use coconut oil so but about two and a half tablespoon of the oil. This is a simplified um, beef rendang recipe. Yep. So we're going to add in the uh, shallot that has been minced. I use the food processor to mix it up. So we're going to cook it until it's slightly brown for a few minutes, about three to five minutes. So now it's slightly brown. 
I'm gonna put in the uh, curry powder paste. This is a brand of the curry powder that I use, Baba Meat Curry Powder, which is really nice curry powder. So I have six tablespoons of that and about a quarter teaspoon, quarter cup of water. Make it into a paste. in the lemongrass there's about three stalks of the lemongrass and cut it up into about an inch and then I'm going to add in the beef I'm going to add in the coconut cream two can of that once it's boiled we're going to reduce the heat and let it simmer on medium heat and you need to keep stirring it. Um, this beef rendang curry will take about one and a half to two hours to cook on you know on simmer heat so that the meat will be all tender and moist. So we're just gonna do that. We're gonna cover the lid and let it boil and then we're gonna reduce the heat. So now the beef curry, the beef rendang is uh, boiled so we're gonna reduce the heat to medium low and just let it simmer until the liquid dries out a bit okay so we'll take make sure you stir every five to ten minutes make sure the curry doesn't get burned in the bottom so we're just gonna cover it and let it simmer and check on it every five to ten minutes so now we're going to uh, cook the um, anchovies and peanuts so we start off by heating up the pan high heat and just put in about, about two tablespoons of oil and we make it hot once the pan is heated up we're just going to put in the anchovies that's been washed and dry make sure you wash them and we're going to fry this and the peanuts so you, you fry the anchovies and the peanuts for about 10 to 15 minutes until it is brown, lightly brown and then we're going to lower the heat and we're going to put in the sauce that we mix so the brown sugar, sesame oil and Put it in just to caramelize it and we're just going to push all this in. Look, looks lovely. So this is all ready. Just let it cool. This will uh, keep well in an airtight container in your pantry and can use it uh, to eat with rice. So that's done. Don't forget to check on your beef rendang. So now we're going to do the sambal balachan, which is the chili paste to go with the nasi lemak. So we're going to, I'm using my mini food processor. I'm just going to put a bit of liquid so that it will just put a bit of lime juice in it. Put a lime, one lime juice. So we're just going to add in the salt and the sugar. Remember that the balachan, which you can get from the Asian grocery, you need to fry them first, which I have already done before to save time. So here is here's the chili. There you go. So we're just checking on the beef and done. See how the liquid has gone a bit. So now we're going to add in the comfort lime leaves. This one here, there's about half the jar of that. So I'm just putting it in. Just make sure you don't put any extra liquid in there. Just mix it in. And let it simmer on medium heat again for about 10 minutes. And 
just keep stirring. Let it simmer. So now we're just going to stir in the desiccated co coconut that's been toasted. And then we add in the sugar and the salt. Just mix it in and let it simmer on low heat for about 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, look, it's all drying up the curry. This looks really nice. So now we're just going to taste and see. So the salt and sugar is to taste. If you think you need more, then add more. Mm. It's just nice. No? So I don't need to add any more. So see how the uh, beef is all tender. Nice and tender. So now the beef curry is ready, the rice is ready, now we can serve. So now see how the rice is cooked. So we can remove the pandan leaves. Out. Nicely cooked. And just stir the rice with the chopstick. You can see it's all nice and fluffy. So here you go, here's our nasi lemak with beef rendang, the coconut rice, the beef and the condiment and that's how you serve it with rice and the curry. Hope you enjoy and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you next time.